Is there life inside black holes? Ask the average layman how a black hole works, and they'll talk about a terrifying object which sucks in and destroys anything that gets close. Or if they have a penchant for the dramatic, they might describe it as an endless void from whence no matter may emerge. But what's the truth? And could anything possibly exist within a black hole's cosmic clutches? Is there life inside black holes? Number 4. Black Hole Basics To find out if life could exist inside a black hole, let's give you a quick rundown of how these universal garbage disposals work. A black hole is a region of space which possesses immense gravitational force. This force is generated by a large amount of matter which has been compressed into a tiny space, which often occurs because of the collapse of a star. Our entire galaxy revolves around a supermassive black hole which lies at the center of the Milky Way, with planets and stars able to orbit these objects safely without being sucked in, unless they cross the event horizon. The event horizon describes the boundary surrounding a black hole, beyond which light and radiation cannot escape. It is the literal definition of once you go black, you never go back. Beyond the horizon, at the center, you'll find the gravitational singularity, a place where the concepts of space and time cease to have meaning. The laws of physics as we understand them do not operate at the singularity because gravity and density are both infinite and space-time becomes curved to an infinite degree. Unfortunately, we cannot see the singularity of a black hole because it is hidden behind its event horizon. But if we could see past it, one Russian cosmologist believes we'd find something very interesting indeed. Vyacheslav Dukashev is a physicist and the author of the 2011 paper, Is There Life Inside Black Holes? In his study, Professor Dukashev outlines his theory that life may exist within supermassive black holes, like the one at the center of our galaxy. Scientists have discovered supermassive black holes at the center of almost every large galaxy we've observed so far. So, if Professor Dukoshev is right, life may be abundant across the universe, but remain forever trapped inside these giant cosmic vacuum cleaners. But how could anything possibly survive within such a hostile environment? Dukashev's theory is based on earlier work which concluded that subatomic particles, like photons, can survive in bizarre spiral orbits within certain regions inside a black hole. Dukashev is an expert in the study of photon dynamics and orbits, and he believes that such orbits would only be possible once the objects cross the event horizon, reaching an area known as the Cauchy Horizon. The Cauchy Horizon is where time and space get themselves together and start acting normal again. It's like they've spent the previous night getting wasted, and they've suddenly got a test to prepare for. Within the Cauchy horizon of a charged, rotating black hole, Dukoshev claims that the space-time conditions exist to facilitate the stable periodic orbits of photons and particles. In a non-charged, non-rotating black hole, only particles which are sufficiently charged will enjoy a stable periodic orbit. And if particles can exist within the Cauchy region under certain conditions, then so can larger objects, like planets. Number 2. Black Hole Worlds If you lived on a planet inside a black hole, what would it feel like? Dokoshev has calculated that such a planet would be brilliantly illuminated by the singularity which it orbits, and lit up even further by the massive amount of photons trapped in the same rotation. This world would experience perpetual daytime, which means no nightmares, no night terrors, no nightman to fight the dayman. What a shame. As you can see from this graphic, the planet would also enjoy a pretty funky orbit around the singularity. Good luck trying to figure out your birthday. Your calendar would basically be a pile of spaghetti. Anything which exists on this planet would also have to deal with powerful tidal forces, as well as huge energy densities caused by trapped photons. 
I assume this means you'd be able to catch some sweet waves and never need to charge your iPhone. But this assumption is not based on any actual scientific fact. Unlike Dukashev's assertion that a planet inside a black hole would be subjected to some pretty messed up causality violations. Causality is the basic idea that entities cause actions and that an entity cannot act in contradiction to its nature. This is why you can't change the past. The past has already happened, you made out with your cousin at that wedding, and now you're going to have to deal with it. But inside a black hole, the conditions may be ripe for causality violations to occur, with the rules of space-time ceasing to apply to any organisms within. That means you could end up tongue-wrestling a family member for the rest of eternity before you ever imagined yourself doing it. Again, I'm paraphrasing, but this is the kind of life I assume might exist inside a black hole. However, Professor Dukoshev has a different idea. Super Aliens Number 1. Who lives there? Advanced civilizations may live safely inside the black hole without being visible from the outside. This is the opinion of Professor Dukoshev, who believes a planet inside a black hole could potentially support a complex chemistry rich enough to allow life to evolve. And not just any old life but super-fancy advanced intelligent life. Dukoshev estimates that civilizations of the third Kardashev type would be the most likely to exist within a supermassive black hole. This level of advancement will take humans an estimated 100,000 to 1 million years to reach, since it describes a race so powerful they can colonize the galaxy, traverse interstellar space, and even manipulate the stars themselves extracting their energy as if they were mere batteries. Others have contended that a Kardashev IV civilization would be more likely to live inside a black hole, with these A-grade cosmic students able to travel between galaxies, change the structure of space-time, and even slow down the process of entropy. The power estimated to achieve such things is in the order of billions of trillions of suns. And these life forms may even have transcended physical boundaries to exist as incorporeal beings. As you might have guessed, we are some way from being able to achieve this. How or why such civilizations would come to exist inside a black hole, Dukashev does not say. They may have formed within it, or they may have found a way to travel past the event horizon without being smushed into spaghetti like a black hole calendar. Either way, these civilizations would live in safety behind the cloak of a supermassive black hole's event horizon, with these galactic nuclei potentially acting as safe havens for sufficiently advanced species. Maybe, once civilizations reach a certain level of power, they realize they are too dangerous to exist in the ordinary universe, so they banish themselves to the Koshi horizon to spare the lives of lesser beings. Or perhaps the weather is just nicer in there. It's a shame we'll likely never know. It may prove impossible to see beyond the event horizon of a black hole. So if any life has sprung up inside one, it could be permanently off-limits to anything outside. This means that theories like Professor Dukashev's may remain untestable for eternity. But if we could somehow prove that life is possible inside a black hole in another way, the sheer number of supermassive black holes out there means that some may be populated. And if some have planets, they might have stars. And if they can have stars, why not universes? Which begs the question, might our universe exist within a gargantuan black hole? We're going to explore this in our bonus video, Do We Exist Within a Black Hole? which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's fine. Bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. K 
chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.